Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to connect and configure the Ajax security system. We'll find out how to install a security alarm system in your house, office or any other premise, how to configure it and connect all kinds of detectors. Let's begin. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The Ajax Security Alarm is a hardware and software security complex built around its central element, Ajax Hub, which manages the operation of a set of detectors – motion detector, opening detector, smoke detector and many others. When any of the detectors is triggered, your smartphone will receive an alarm notification immediately to warn you of a potentially dangerous situation and it enables you to respond appropriately, turn electricity, gas or water supply on or off, activate the siren, call the police, a security agency or other emergency services. Alright, let's start with examining the contents of the security alarm kit. Today I have the so-called Ajax Starter Kit or Hub Kit in white color. This is what the kit includes. Ajax Hub – the central unit that coordinates the work of all connected devices. Motion detector – Ajax Motion Protect. A versatile opening detector for doors or windows – Ajax Door Protect and a special fob to manage the entire security system – Ajax Space Control. In addition, we also have a fire and smoke detector – Fire Protect, a flooding detector – Leaks Protect, and a wireless indoor siren – Home Siren. And finally, a very cool rotating 4-megapixel Wi-Fi camera – Dehua A46. The last four gadgets are not included into the starter kit, but you can buy them additionally and connect to the hub. Let's find out how to use all these items, how to integrate them into one system and configure each element. Let's begin with the starter kit. The main element of the package is the hub. It will manage all the sensors and this is where you plug the internet cable. Unbox it. Use the cables that come supplied with the unit to connect it to the wall socket and the internet. On the bottom panel of the hub you can see the lid that covers all connectors and can be used as a mounting bracket. Open the lid. You can see two connectors, one for the internet cable and the other for the power cable. Plug the power cable into the wall socket and the internet cable into the Ethernet port of your router or an Ethernet wall outlet if you have one. To turn the hub on, press and hold the power button. Wait until it lights up. When it connects to the Internet, the light will turn into green. That's all, the hub is connected. Now, in order to manage the security alarm system, you need to install a special app from the system's manufacturer to your smartphone – Ajax Security System. It's available for both Android and iOS devices. Install it and create an account. This is a standard procedure, nothing unusual. Give your name, email, phone number and password. Six-digit verification code will be sent to your email and smartphone. As I have already created an account, I will just log in. As soon as you do it, Ajax Security System will suggest adding a hub, because the system cannot work without it. Tap Add Hub. You can choose between taking a step-by-step -step tutorial or doing everything manually. Select any variant. I go for the visit. Follow the tutorial directions. Enable the hub and wait until the Ajax logo turns light green. To register a hub, give it a name and enter the registration code. You can use any name you like, for example, Ajax or Hub. The hub code is printed on the bottom panel of the unit, under the QR code. However, you can scan the QR code instead of typing it. 
Just tap the QR code icon and the scanner appears to get the job done. After that, tap Add Hub. That's all, uh, the hub is connected. Next, the app asks you to connect a network cable. I have it connected already. Next, Add Room. In my case, let it be Office. You can add, for example, bedroom, storehouse, room 1, 2, 3, and so on. Actually, you can add several rooms. Add device. This is where you can add the devices that come supplied with the hub or other gadgets and detectors. But I will add them later, because there are many devices and it will be more convenient to do it in a special part of the video. If necessary, you can also add other users for this hub. I skipped the installation manual, because that is another story. And now I go back to the dashboard where you can see the devices, uh, which are already connected. At the moment there is nothing but the hub. There are also options Add Device and Add Camera. I will use them to add the devices and sensors I have one by one. For example, let's begin with the motion detector. Tap Add Device. I will give it a name – Motion. Device ID. I will scan it in the same way as when connecting the hub. Slide down the back panel of the detector and scan the QR code from the sticker. Got it. Room. I have one room by now, office, but you can have several rooms depending on the number of sensors and rooms you have. Group. Let it be Home. Add. Now enable the detector by moving the switch in its back panel. That's all. It's active and is shown on the list of devices. Now you can go to the settings of the motion detector to configure it. In the first window you can see its current settings. To change them, tap on the gear wheel icon. You can rename the detector and change the room where it is installed. Change its sensitivity – always active. If this option is on, the detector will be always enabled no matter if the alarm system is enabled or not. Delay when entering and leaving, for example, when it is attached to the entrance door. Night mode and alert with a siren. There are also various tests for the device, the user guide and the option to unpair the detector from the hub. When you exit the menu, the program saves the changes to the settings automatically. I think everyone knows how it works. Mount it on the ceiling in a place where you need to control motion and you will receive signals from the detector. In the same way, add the next sensor, the opening detector for a window or door. Add device, name, window or door, depending on where you mount it. Device ID – scan from the sticker on the back panel. Room – Office. Group – Home. Add. After that, push the switch on the back panel to ON position. Now you can see that the opening detector has been added. Now you can mount it on a door or window. It is based on the principle of locking and unlocking. That is, the kit includes three elements – the detector and two magnets. A big one for the door and the small one is typically used for windows. Just put the detector and the magnet on different parts of the door or window and it will send a signal whenever they are opened. That's easy. Have a look at the connector on the back of the opening detector. This is a port for an external detector, which can be placed in certain hard-to-reach places. It is not included into the kit, but there is a special connector for it, so you can buy and use it if necessary. This detector also has its own settings. Tap on it to see the current values. Go to the settings by tapping on the gear wheel icon. You can change the detector name and the room. You can also enable the external contact. Delay for arming and disarming, night mode and alert with a siren. There are also various tests for the device, the user guide and the option to unpair the detector from the hub.
This is what happens when the door or window is opened. Please have a look at the back panel of the detectors, both the opening detector and the motion detector, and all other detectors we are going to connect to the Ajax system. On the back lid of every detector, which also serves as a kind of attachment panel, there is a kind of switch. This switch interacts with the sensor that is triggered when the detect detector is removed, the so-called tamper button. When the device is removed from the attachment panel or put back, the sensor will send a special notification to your smartphone. Let's move on. The last device in the Ajax starter kit set is a special fob to help you manage the security system, Ajax Space Control. But this is not the last device in this video, as I also have a flooding detector, a foreign smoke detector and a wireless siren. And probably the most interesting item is the wireless camera, so don't hurry to close the tab with this video, more devices are coming in a minute. So this fob is used to alarm and disarm the system. You can add it in the same way as any other detector. Add device, name fob, device ID, the sticker with the QR code is inside the box, scan it. By the way, QR codes for other items are also duplicated on their boxes. Room, office. To enable the fob, press and hold the two buttons, the one with the ring and the one with the eye letter. That's it, the FOB has been added. Now arm the system by pressing the ring button. Press the broken ring button to disarm it. The button with a broken ring inside of a complete ring means partial arming or night mode. You can try pressing different buttons to see how it works. The FOB also has its own settings menu, just have a look, it's quite, it's quite simple. When you arm the system, the corresponding indicator appears in the application and a notification arrives. The same happens when you disarm the system. Now, let's link some more devices to this security system. They are not included into the standard hub kit, but can be bought separately and integrated seamlessly with the Ajax hub. Ajax Leaks Protect, a wireless flood detector. Within a few milliseconds, this detector reacts to even minimal leaks that so you have enough time to fix the problem. It's very easy to use, just put it in an area where leaks are possible. You don't always need to mount or fix it to a surface in any way. As soon as water gets on one of the four pairs of contact on the bottom of the detector, it responds by sending a signal to the hub. You know already how to link a device to the hub. Give a name, scan the QR code, assign a room, assign a group, add. This device has some simple settings as well as other detectors. Now you can put it on the floor under a washing machine, a wash basin or a, or a bathtub. This is what happens when some water gets to a contact. Fire Protect – a wireless fire and smoke detector. In other words, a kind of fire alarm. Link it to the hub following the standard sequence of, of steps. The settings are simple. Use the smart bracket kit that comes supplied with the detector to mount it on the highest point of the ceiling because hot air and smoke tend to concentrate at the ceiling. Let's test the detector. Go to the detector settings and select Fire Protect Self Test. Great. Next, Home Siren Wireless Siren. You can guess its function from the name. This is the element to add loud sound to our security system. Add the device, all other steps as usual.
What about the settings? Name, room, alarm volume, alarm duration, armed mode indication, beep when arming, beep when delay. Everything is clear. Let's test it. Arm and disarm the device. Test the volume when it responds. Great. Generally speaking, now the security system is fully operational and ready to use. Just place all the devices and detectors in the corresponding rooms and in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. However, this review and configuration sequence for the Ajax security system would be incomplete if I didn't add the camera. After all, I've just got a suitable one to integrate with the system. This camera is a Dahua A46. Why did I choose a Dahua product? First, because this is a really good camera for money in terms of what it has to offer. Second, Dehua is the only manufacturer whose cameras can be connected to the Ajax system by quickly scanning the QR code for device ID. In all other cases, devices are connected with the help of an RTSP link, which is not always convenient for an average user. So, to connect Dehua A46 or any other Dehua camera to the Ajax system, you need to register it in IMOU, an application provided by the manufacturer. You can download and install it to any mobile gadget from Play Market or App Store. I'm not going to show you every single step because we have a special video for this topic. Just follow the link in the description and watch it. Uh, after you have registered the camera in IMOU by following directions in the video, open Ajax security system and go to the menu Devices. Select Add Camera, Dahua. If you need to connect a camera with an RTSP link, choose the option RTSP Camera, but remember, I have a Dahua camera. The menu for adding the camera is the same menu as used for adding any other device to the Ajax security system. Assign a name for the camera, scan the device ID, username, admin, the default camera name, and the password which you set when registering the camera in IMOU app. Specify the room, add, ready. Here is the camera I have just added. Click on it to start streaming the video. Unfortunately, the camera settings in Ajax security system are limited. In fact, the only function available is seeing what the camera shows you. The settings to adjust the field of vision, uh, record videos, save the data, track objects and schedule camera operation are all available in the IMOU application. However, you can use the app to configure all the settings once and then watch the camera streams with Ajax security system. That is all for now. As you can see, configuring and setting up the Ajax security system in your home or office is quite easy. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment to ask one, hit the like button below and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Thank you for watching and see you again in another video.